UBS has salvaged some value from the wreckage of Credit Suisse. Turmoil in the global banking sector came to Zurich over the weekend as UBS rescued Credit Suisse in a shotgun wedding with the Swiss government holding the weapon. The extraordinary intervention is designed to shore up confidence in the country's financial system, but it's also a big opportunity for UBS. Credit Suisse's slow motion implosion accelerated in the past few weeks amid jitters about the impact of rising interest rates on weak banks. Support from the Swiss central bank last week failed to restore confidence, so the government decided that brokering a sale was preferable to bailing out Credit Suisse or winding it down. UBS chairman Colm Kelleher has negotiated attractive terms. He's paying just 3 billion Swiss francs about $3.2 billion for Credit Suisse's shares. That's 60% less than they were worth last Friday and a fraction of the bank's capital, which stood at 45 billion Swiss francs at the end of last year. Regulators also agreed to wipe out some Credit Suisse bonds to provide an extra buffer, while the government is recovering potential losses on Credit Suisse assets and the authorities waived domestic competition rules. All this means UBS gets to cut loads of costs. Chief Executive Ralph Hammers reckons he can slash about $8 billion a year from the bank's expenses. However, the deal is far from a home run. Nervous, wealthy customers may continue to withdraw their money, and UBS may have to ditch some dicier private bank clients. Hammers and his team will also have to rapidly shrink Credit Suisse's investment bank, a tricky task even in less jittery markets. In the longer term, Swiss authorities have concentrated more of the country's financial risk in a bigger juggernaut. UBS has secured big potential rewards for taking on such a large risk. Whether it's enough to soothe the wider financial sector is less clear.